We are back right now with an Eyewitness News exclusive. Our series on policing in Connecticut continues with a look at recruiting police officers to represent communities they serve. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller shows us the challenges minorities are facing. Welcoming new recruits to a police department is a proud moment for all involved. It's also a way to develop trust in a community. You want to get people who understand the community. So recruiting for me was really like a no brainer because I wanted people not only trust the police, but also wanted the police to trust the people. Daryl Roberts served as Hartford's police chief from 2006 to 2011. He's now the Connecticut chapter president of the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives. He tells us recruiting new police officers has its challenges. Some people don't trust police, you know, and in and, and and the history of this country, black people have always been, for whatever reason, not trusting of the police. And one of the main reasons is because once upon a time, it was legal to have slaves. So if you, slip, if you escape the plantation, law enforcement always brought you back into slavery. So there was a natural distrust. And now in our current environment, the issue is in the forefront across the country. The claim we're in now is very dangerous, I think, because there's still a trust factor. I think police officers, not all, but some do not see minorities as human beings. And that needs to change. You should not fear the police, but what's going on in the country right now, people have a legitimate reason to fear the police, especially people of color, because they're being killed by police officers. According to the latest statistics from the U.S. Department of Justice, local police departments employed about 468,000 full-time sworn officers in 2016. About one in four local police officers and about one in five first-line supervisors were black or Hispanic. In Hartford, when we followed along a police officer who grew up in the North End, she fell. we learned the faces in the Hartford Police Academy have dramatically diversified. From 2016 to 2019, half of the recruits were minorities. Hartford's police department had 382 members in its ranks in 2019. Nearly 40% are minorities to include black, Hispanic, and Asian officers. The city's population is 37% African American, 44.5% Latino, and 15% white. Robert says the key to an effective force is hiring those who live in the community they serve. No matter where you live, Courtney, you want good service, right? You want to have positive relationships, and you want to be safe. That's across the board. So if you live in that town, you have more of a commitment and more of a dedication to that town because you live there. That's your home. And for those who are in training, he has some advice. Every human being that you're supposed to protect and serve, treat them the way you would like to be treated, the way you would like somebody in your family to be treated. That would be the key. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.